give another warm welcome for Tawina Franklin. Thank you so much for coming. So I had a bar an embarrassing moment there. I just called her Tawina Franklin. Uh, her name is Tawana Franklin. Uh, but I understand that your last name may not even be Franklin anymore. That's right. Is that correct? I got my first and last name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get the backup post out here. <laughs> so, and is that, did you, did you get married recently? Yeah, is that? August 25th, I got wow. married. Congratulations. Is this your first uh, like public appearance since you were since you're married? Is it? It is, I wow. think so, yeah. All right, we're Absolutely. gonna, we're gonna claim that one. All right. <laughs> so, recently married and you've done some amazing things. You've done some remarkable things. You co-founded a female empowerment group called Ladies First, and like, that's been, kind of been your Thank baby, you. right? You started that thing from scratch, right? Yeah. Could you tell us about it, please? Of course. So, Ladies First, I founded, what, six years ago, and at that time I had a business partner, and so we were responding to a need in Tacoma Public Schools, um, a need to work with some of the girls and help them with issues around bullying and identity and relationship building. Wow, some yeah. big, big things. Yeah, That's... but we were really passionate about it, so we start off kind of volunteering at the school, and um, after a few months realized we would need a lot more resources to conduct the type of program we wanted to conduct for the girls we were serving. But it was amazing because we um, initially we're open to serving 15 girls at a time across three lunches at one school, First Creek Middle School, and had about 45 girls on a waiting list. And so we also had to figure out a strategy to expand the program. And mm -hmm. six years later, we've served so many elementary, middle, and high schools in Tacoma and spoke to so many groups all the way you know, to Seattle. And actually, wow. I went to Spokane earlier this year to My speak goodness. to some girls. So wow. it's been an amazing journey. That's incredible. Thank that you. is truly incredible. <laughs> Just, again, the persistence. So what, how, what made you be like, we need to go to these schools and we need to give these, thing, these girls things that they don't have? What, what drove you to do that? Yeah, so just the needs in our community. So Pierce County has a very high trafficking, prostitution rate, and it has a lot to do with how our girls don't feel really good about themselves. And it's not all of them, but a lot of, but, but many of our young ladies are, I should say, it's not, it is not all of them, but many of our young ladies struggle with self-esteem and confidence. And it's not a unique thing. Most of us as individuals do, but there's a really great opportunity for us to pour into young women and build their confidence and self-esteem so that they don't feel like they need to um, belong to someone else or attach to things that are not positive. And, and there are programs for young men in similar ways, but my heart was for young ladies and helping to build them early and expose them to amazing alternatives around environmental issues or, um, I mean, I think we'll talk about programming a, l a little bit later, but um, I wanted to expose girls to things that typically girls are not exposed to, like basic auto clinics. Um, and teaching girls how to change their own tire and, and change their oil, but just different um, important issues in the life of a woman or girl and important issues in our community that I felt like I can create events or programming around and present to elementary, middle, and high school girls in our community. And it has been so successful. I mean, we have some amazing partners. I'm not going to be like Adam. I know I'm doing some incredible stuff. <laughs> I mean, yes. you know, Adam ate all the humble pie, but I just, I'm really proud of the work that we've done and some of the outcomes that we've seen with the girls we serve. And it's pretty incredible. So you, I mean, and again, you started at one school serving 15 girls. And now do you have any idea how many you've served over the course of six years? Yeah, we've, pro we've, so we've served over a thousand girls for sure. Um, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. And so, and then so you're also doing this, but then you're also the president of the Tacoma Urban League, correct? I have a day job. That's, oh, so that's just that's completely voluntary. Everything. Yeah, you're that's doing my is, passion work. That's just that's something that's mine and my my contribution back to the community. And I didn't say this earlier, but 
programs like Ladies First are really what helped me as a young woman because I, um, our family experienced um, just a lot of interesting challenges when I was a young person, but there were programs that existed for me to plug into um, that kept me hopeful and kept me positive and helped to shape the individual that I am today. So Ladies First is just what I want to do to give back to my community, but it's mine, so I have a lot of ownership and autonomy. But then I kind of have to, you know, feed myself and right. make money and, right. you know, pay bills. So <laughs> of course. I do have Very a job. Important things. That's, that's so <laughs> incredible that, like, that you 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 took something that you had like experienced and helped you, and now you're helping like thousands of people. That's that is incredible. Thank you for what you're doing. That's just awesome. Thank you. So, could you tell us about your day job? What is that like? I mean, it seems like it's a pretty cool day job if you're going to have one. Could you, so, could you tell us a little bit? Yes. So, um, while I was doing Ladies First, many of those years, I also was a teacher. So, I taught for. Um, a total of six years, but five consecutive years before my new job. And I'm the president and CEO of Tacoma Urban League. Wow. So like any other president or CEO, I have the typical day-to-day -day type um, responsibilities. Um, but I, I have to tell you, the only reason I have my job is because the woman who I call my mom was elected as mayor of Tacoma. And she was a president and CEO before me, so her job kind of opened up with their new job. <laughs> um, and my job, my the program I was teaching for was kind of sunsetting. Um, so that's how I even got into this opportunity. Wow. But a lot of um, what I do is, I mean, I, I run the organization. I get to be the, the face of the organization. It's important that I raise money, that I take care of my staff, and that I'm serving the people in my community. And this is our 50th anniversary. So I've only had my job. I've been president and CEO for one year and one month. But Tacoma Urban League has been serving Pierce County um, for 50 years. Wow. So we have our 50th anniversary gala on October 5th. I welcome any of you students. You can contact me and I'd love to get you at some of our tables to um, enjoy a lovely dinner with us. But 50 years Tacoma Urban League has been serving this That's community. Incredible. That's mm -hmm. Wow. So there's two incredible programs that you're a part of. What, so you've told us a little bit about the Ladies First, but what, uh, what does the Tacoma, excuse me, the Tacoma Urban League do? What is, the, what is the exactly that you're plugged into the community doing? Yeah, so we're part of a national, we're one affiliate of a national organization. So there's a National Urban League. Many folks have oftentimes heard of the NAACP. So it's mm -hmm. another civil rights organization. Urban Leagues are actually, the, or the National Urban League is the oldest civil rights organization of that kind. Oh, so wow. older, than, older than the NAACP. Seriously. Um, so our national headquarters, I believe now, was in New York. It was in D.C. And um, so we're one of many affiliates. But Urban Leagues typically f focus on workforce development, um, education, um, housing, and health care. And we can provide, sometimes it depends on where we are, every affiliate is different, but at Tacoma Urban League we have two education programs, we have our male involvement program which is mentors African American males, other males of color, and then we open it up to other males. And we like to work with students who are kind of hardest to reach, may, may be at risk of joining a gang. And then for our girls program, um, even before I was president and CEO, the Urban League contracted me to run their girls program because it doesn't have a full-time staff, so um, it's called Girls With Purpose, and so I just kind of get to wrap in what I did for Ladies First many years at the Urban League. And then we have programs around um, housing, so we, we help first-time home buyers um, learn how to purchase a home and find different um, opportunities to get assistance with down payments. We also do a lot of household budget and finance education. We have a wonderful program called our African American Financial Capability Initiative. Long word, we call it our long program title, but we call it AAFC. And we're closing the racial wealth divide um, in our community. Um, but just so much is, is happening, and I'm always trying to think of innovative ways to connect young people and adults and to solve some of the problems that exist in our community, and my staff work really, really hard to help to make that happen. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's most of our most of our programs, but urban leagues across the nation do similar work, and we're so lucky in Washington State. We have two urban leagues, oh, Urban really? League of Metropolitan Seattle 
and then Tacoma Urban League. Um, so yeah, I mean, people can walk through our doors anytime and say they have a need and we really try to help solve them. So if they call and say, I've been in a domestic violence situation and I'm looking for housing or I'm trying to get custody of my kids or I just got out of prison and I'm looking for legal assistance, we really try to be connected to all the community resources so we can send them off or connect them with someone that can help them. Wow, how, that's so many things that you do. That was like, how, how, with all those things going on, how do you manage all of that? That's like, each one of those in itself is just a huge thing and like it's a huge need that the community needs. How, how do you do it? How do you? I have a heart for it. I mean, I really, it really, even though it's my day job and it, it, and it pays, it's really an extension of um, the work that I get to do with Ladies First and work that I just really love to do for my community. I know I'm making a difference. I see it every single day that someone walks through our doors, says they have a need, and I don't say, well, that's not what we do. You know, I tell my staff, highest level of customer service, and we want to make sure we're working hard for our community, but we can see that it makes a difference instantly. Wow. So I will get up every day to serve my community in that way. Wow, that's incredible. That's incredible. And we have so many more things we, were, we wanted to talk about. Uh, our time is running out here, but before you go, do you have uh, any advice you would, could give to people who want to have a similar impact to do something similar to what you're doing? Yeah, my advice, like Nike, just do it. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really important not to get caught up in all the small um, details. I'm a firm believer of, I just, I sometimes have large ideas of things that I want to do and I grab the right partners, make sure I have the funding, and then get out there and do it and plan the details along the way, and they always work out. But I really encourage folks not to get caught up in, you know, when I get older, when I graduate, I gotta wait, I gotta have this experience, but just take something that you believe in that you can get up every day and do without someone. If you didn't get paid, if no, if no one paid you to do it, you could get out your bed every day and do it. But what a luxury to be able to be passionate about something, enjoy doing something, and get paid to do it so that you you can pay your bills and feed yourself, right. um, but just just start, just do it. Thank you so much. Thank you You're so welcome. much. Give it up for Tawana. We're gonna have our game right after this. We're back with more. From